It's T with T Quilts, and I am working on the birthday challenge blocks for my charity quilts for 2019. And I just thought that I would share some of this process with you since you, the community, has helped me to do this project. I really appreciate it. So I just want to make sure that you are a part of the entire process. Now, when I first get blocks, let me start there. I normally just put a number on top of the first block so any additional blocks made by that person only the top block has a number and I've been keeping these in order and this is another stack where this person has sent all of these blocks so I've been keeping stacks of blocks and right now I'm just using my dining room table because I am in the process of squaring up the blocks so before I square up the blocks, I spray some homemade best press on them and I let it sit for maybe 15, 20 minutes while I cut a previous stack. So I always have a stack here that needs to be ironed and then I have another stack that I'm cutting. So then once I iron them, they just move further down the ironing board here. At this point, I know how many blocks have been sent by each person because I've been keeping track as I'm going along. And I make additional uh, number stickers for them. And then as I cut them, I am actually putting them onto the block. So this is number 87. And then as I cut the remainder of 87's blocks, the numbers will be on the block on this stack where I'm cutting. Once I'm finished cutting, that's when I come back and I will organize my stacks. So I have a stack of straight strings, a stack of diagonal strings, and a stack of crumb blocks. Now on the diagonal strings, I did have a few. I'm up to six so far where they did the smaller diagonals. That's how the quilt's actually going to be set with these larger blocks. But I pulled those six out because I might want to do something special with those. And then as I'm going, I'm finding there are things that are too large for me to cut. And I didn't want to really cut this design up. So I pulled these out of the stack. So I have been adjusting how many blocks I have for the project. As well as I could have miscounted when I was doing things. And then I'm also rearranging which stacks some of them may go in. Some of them that I thought I would use in a diagonal strings I may have put into the crumb pile. So at this point I am actually adjusting the blocks into the different piles. In this box here, Brenda Nelson sent me a lot of fat quarters. So I have a lot of fat quarters here that I'm going to be using for the border. So I have those fabrics pulled out as well. And then I have purchased Three different blacks that I will be using for borders as well. I'm not sure if I have enough right now for the sashing. My goal for me right now is to just get the quilts tops piece and I'm going to work on this at retreat. But before I get to retreat, I want to make sure that I have all of these fabrics cut so that I can be ready to go. So I have at this point received blocks from 134 people and I am hoping that I can square up up to 100 people and then I'm just going to stop there and start pulling blocks that I can take with me on retreat and then start working on cutting these border prints as well as these border prints. So I'm going to do a stop border with these and then add another border with that. So I thought that I would also show you my plans for the quilt blocks for my straight strings. They're just going to be alternated rail fence style throughout the quilt. And it will be many, many colors in my EQ layouts. I just basically went with one colorway and just used it throughout, but it will be scrappy. And also on all the layouts, I just have the outer border 
being one piece of fabric in a different color it's going to be scraps however many it takes to complete the borders on those on all styles of the quilts and then my diagonal strings will look something like this and again the same thing with the borders and this one is my crumb quilt and although it looks like it's pattern mirror image it's just different crumb blocks and I'm not sure if that's actually going to work so I have also done a layout where I use smaller number of blocks but add sashing in between if I have too many seams that I'm trying to meet up with the crumb blocks but we'll see when I get there but these are the plans that I have for the actual quilt tops so when I start cutting the border fabrics I'll come back with that so I'm back I've been working on this project throughout the day I stopped squaring up blocks at number 90 I completed 90 and 91 is where I'll start but I wanted to go ahead and get my strips cut I have cut I purchased two yards of three different blacks and I cut them on the lengthwise so on the two yard length so that's what these strips are I'm hoping that I can get binding for the four quilts as well from these two inch strips so we shall see and then over here I took 30 fat quarters and cut them into five three and a half inch strips so I have two and a half inch strips over here and three and a half inch strips over here so I'm hoping that this will be enough to do all four quilts as well so we shall see and if I need more we'll just worry about that at the time I'm not actually sure if I'm going to actually finish all four quilts at retreat that's being a little prolific but at least I have cut quite a bit so that I can make that reality happen if you still want to send blocks in and I receive them by the end of August I will accept those blocks if you send them after that time I'll just add them into next year's uh, project so they will be used if you still want to send them and you're late seeing this video that's it for this video I will update you when I actually start piecing a quilt top or maybe at retreat I'll show you uh, blocks laid out or something like that but that's it for this part I will just be basically squaring up other blocks at this point so I'll see you next time bye bye